Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Uh, today, I just wanted to look at um, something crazy with Pro Tools. I, I used to be an avid Pro Tools user and um, for a long time and switched to Studio One and I'm loving Studio One. Um, I decided to go back and take a look at the latest version of Pro Tools. I built this new PC and it's based on an i9 processor. It's got 14 cores. Um, and I noticed loading up a session here, trying to make it fall over, that it really only utilizes about eight cores, which is which is crazy. We got all these multi-core machines. What's the point of having the cores if I can't use them? So I just want to demonstrate what's going on with Pro Tools. And this is just, you know, a simple little demo. Some instruments loaded up and then duplicated a bunch of times. So here it is. Nothing special. So if you'll notice here, it's going to go up real high here. It's got some repo fives, a bunch of them. So there it goes. If you notice, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight cores in the middle that that are that are getting fully loaded, right? And then you got these ones on the outside, which there's a bunch of them on either side that aren't really getting utilized. And if I play this, you'll see what I mean. So here we go. Now we're loading up, get to 100%. Notice when it gets to 100%, the other thing I notice, it goes into the red, but it doesn't glitch the audio or anything, which is strange. But you got all the cores, got all these cores here that aren't doing anything. Uh, you know, 1%, 2%, 7%. The middle cores are doing all the heavy lifting, which I just don't understand. So please, Avid, if you're watching this, you need to get all the cores working. I mean, this is a multi-core world now. Uh, most guys I know that are building machines, multiple cores, usually more than four or six, usually 12 and up um, for the guys doing, you know, a lot of virtual instruments and stuff. So um, anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in this short video. Uh, I just find it interesting that uh, in this day and age, man, they still can't get it together. 